Can you guys remember last Christmas? Yeah. We were doing Christmas online at this weird event we called Christ Among Us, where we had Advent candles lit on our Zoom screens, and then we played a video game together. And, man, can you remember that? I just want to take us through a little scrapbook of Christmas to Christmas as we reflect on this central truth of Christmas, that God is with us. May we see that clearly as we relive a little bit of the time between Christmases this year. You guys remember starting the year with lament as we tried to process and point our feelings of sadness and and even anger towards God as an act of prayer. We moved into Ruth and maybe the pandemic crazies were showing a little bit. Ruth got truth, Ruth got truth. Listen up now to a story that moves. Ruth was an immigrant with no bread. Could have picked a man, but picked Naomi instead. Do you remember that little award ceremony we did? And we sent everybody some popcorn to pop and we watched a YouTube premiere. It was called A Year Apart Together. We had an event celebrating the mixed bag of it being a year apart together from March to March. So we heard you guys talk about where God was moving in your life as you reflected over that time. Here's some clips from that documentary put together for this. I've had a lot of time to like reflect and think about myself and my actions. So I had to find a new church and that was really hard because they were close to being family. But a positive thing that's happened is I met you guys and now Hopefully we'll get to build that bond with this new youth group. You know, despite COVID and stuff, well, that was, you know, a, tor- a terrible thing. A lot of other things were kind of going on, which made it kind of bad. Amid all this, America was in turmoil. There was a sense that the kids were processing a lot of the current events, as we all were. We were really looking forward to being back together, which was just on the horizon. I have no negatives at this point, other than I haven't met everybody in person. I miss you. I I wish we could do stuff in person, but it'll happen soon enough. Spend a whole year apart, but together. I feel like that's been the motto of this year. Day came. We went back to the Three Forks building and saw each other in person for the first time in a year, and it was amazing. We're about to go live for our first in-person youth group in a million years. We've got pool noodles. Kind of. We have soccer balls, I think. Yes. And chairs. It's going to be great. See you guys in a few. We were talking about God's view of the end in a fun series we called Eschatology 101. Welcome to our last episode of Eschatology 101. We're going to try to tie all of this stuff up in order to clarify our view of the future. God's future. We'll call it the new heavens, the new earth. That's when Brody broke the clock. Anybody remember that? We went outside as often as we could. It'd be amazing. We're actually a good person. I just, it's so exciting. I had a lot of help from our interns and from you guys during this season because we were trying to set up everything to be as safe as it could be. And uh, I was on crutches for like five months. So big thanks to you guys for that. That's the door. You come in that door, then you just come down this hallway and I'm gonna bounce because I'm, I'm still crippled. There's the thing. Isn't it beautiful? Look how clear it is. Look how crystal it is. Remember we got together with the guys and the girls and we talked about romance? A very familiar face. Hello, guys. Hi, So ladies. excited. <laughs> I'm excited to come back. I can't wait to see everybody's faces. And a new face, my dear friend, Rachel Williams. Rachel, what is happening? Hey, I'm Rachel. While we never shied away from talking about the weighty things of faith and and what we needed to unpack, we also never shied away from having a good and competitive time. You guys remember the hullabaloo? It was like this Olympic style event and there was all these different ways to compete. I remember it getting very heated. (laughs) Really healthy competition around here, don't we? Logan graduate, we had Caleb move away. Ah. But we did also bookend the summer with this amazing thing we call the shindig. You guys remember the water balloons that exploded in like three seconds? I'm sorry, I needed to bring more water balloons, but big shout out to Ruby and the crew that was filling them up for like an hour before the event just 
trying as hard as we could. Uh, and I saw a lot of you parents get really into the the water gun section of things. Uh, it was it was inspiring. <laughs> I think I see where the kids get their healthy spirit of competition. Get it, Micah! Go! Go! Here we go. Here we go. And as the school year started and we returned to our study of scripture, we hit the book of Mark to really hear afresh the gospel again and how it comes to change us, to, to set us free, and to touch every aspect of our life and even the whole world. The gospel with a quick pace. Time is on his mind in his encounter with the Exodus narrative of Jesus. We also had an amazing time at the corn maze. This is not how you play cornhole. <laughs> she goes. Be cautious when passing others. Be reckless. Hey, Checking corn. And we celebrated Halloween. We told the youth to dress up for Halloween Perfect. night. And we had some interesting costumes. <laughs> They were even trolling each other. And we had some creativity. Some interesting interpretations. Okay. We had a lot of fun. Happy Halloween. <laughs> For this Mark series, we started bringing in some guest speakers. We had Jerome. We had Dr. Held. We had Alex. It was an edifying time for everybody. A big highlight for me this year is how you guys have been involved in building up the church. You've done it through music. You've done it through serving kids and the next generation. I'm not an elephant expert, but I think that would work against our elephant friends pretty quickly. And you continue to do it through serving one another, through your ministry of prayer and compassion to one another. It's amazing to be a part of what you guys are doing for each other here in Christ Jesus. And we started the Christmas season with some time of quiet and singing at the Taze service in Valley Crucis. Big shout out to the DeShields and to the, the Dailies for hosting us there. Just the other night, we had a contemplative Advent service where we lit the candles. And here we are, tonight, at our Christmas potluck. So, all of this to say, the question in our hearts and in our heads, and the answer that Christmas provides, that God is with us. I see him with us in the way that we have stayed with one another through this weird season of transition. God has indeed been with us, and he is, and he will be. So, guys, take the moment to cherish God's presence among us and the way that he has drawn us closer together through this year. So, guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for being my family. Thank you for being family to one another. I love what God is doing here. May we continue to be a place of hope and healing here in the high country as this group grows, as this church grows, as we invite people into the activity of God, and as we continue to be shaped more and more and more like the person who we're celebrating today, Jesus, God with us. Until Jesus comes and beyond, we are family. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.